everyone, John here with another installation video. Today at our studio, we have the 890 Duke. We're gonna be installing some great products on this bike, including front and rear axle sliders, bar ends, and spools. Now, these particular products do fit 790 Duke 18 to 20, and of course, the 890 Duke 21 plus. Let's get to the installation of these. The next item on our list, we'll be installing front axle sliders here. Fairly simple installation. You just have to be sure to grab the correct adapter left and right. They are different. If you have any doubts, which one goes left, which one goes right. The installation manual comes in every kit. If you've misplaced that, you can go ahead and download it from our website. All the products of all our bikes that we offer is ready for download from the website. In this case, we're pre-assembling the left side. I have gone ahead and grabbed my left adapter with a puck here. I've grabbed my 45 mil bolt with washer. Go ahead and pre-assemble that. Place one drop of thread locker at the end here. We're gonna grab our rod from our kit. And we'll go ahead and thread the rod all the way in until the rod touches the adapter there. No need to tighten it any longer. Final tightening will be done once we place the other side. So let's go ahead and insert the rod from the left side into the axle. Now, as you can see, the rod is inside of the axle here. Once we begin the installation of the right side, we're gonna press on the puck from the left side to level off the rod. Just make it easier to find the bolt with the rod. So let's go ahead and do that now. Now this is the right side adapter with 50 mil bolts and washer. Let's go ahead and place drop of thread locker there. Press on the puck on the left side. Find the bolt with the rod. Begin threading it by hand. Make sure the thread catches correctly again. We don't want to thread. We don't want to mess up the threading inside of the rod. And I'm just going to tighten it as much as I can by hand. Once I can no longer thread it by hand, I'll grab my Allen key and tighten that. Make sure both Alphabet Test logos, left and right, are facing up. Now I'm taking my Allen key and holding the bolt on the left side. And I'm taking a ratchet here. And tightening it from the left side while I hold it on the right. And once that is part to recommended specs, installation is complete. Now we can go ahead and move on to the rear. Installation of rear axle sliders is exactly the same. Let's go ahead and do that. Moving on to the rear of the bike, we'll now be installing the rear axle sliders. Again, just verify what adapter goes left, which one goes right. A simple dry fit will verify that or just verify with your installation manual, comes in every kit. In this case, we're pre-assembling the left side. Found the adapter here, grabbed our puck. Both bolts for the rear axle sliders are the same. We just grab any bolt and washer. Place it there. One drop of thread locker. Grab our rod from our kit. Go 
go ahead and thread it in again till the rod touches the adapter. The reason this was made like this is to have more control of the rod with this side once you've actually inserted into the axle just in case you need to maneuver it and find the rod with the bolt on the other side. So let's go ahead and insert it into the axle here. Sit it firmly on the axle here. Make sure it sits flush with any of the grooves. We'll find the right side adapter. Now the right side is a female adapter here. So already place the puck, place the bolt with washer, one drop of thread locker at the end there. Then I'll jump over to the other side and find the rod with this bolt. I'm pushing up against this puck right here just to stiffen out that rod. It's easier to find the rod with the washer. Hand tightening this. Make sure thread catches correctly. Now I'm gonna use my six mil Allen key and tighten it from the right side. Now you can use a second Allen key or a ratchet, whatever you'd like to hold one side and tighten it from the other. Once that's tightened completely, installation for the rear axle slider is complete. And as you can tell, we have gone ahead and installed the spools on this bike. We will create a specific video for the installation of these, just in case you need it. And the link will be down in the description. And we can move on to the next problem. We'll be installing the bar ends with sleeve in the 890 Duke. For installation for any other model such as the Vitbelin 701 or SV650 models also share bar ends with a sleeve adapter here. Installation is similar, if not the same, for those bikes and for other bikes as well. So for the 890 Duke, we'll begin by removing the stock bar ends here. Again, this is an expanding sleeve inside, so removal of this bar end should not be complicated at all. I'm using a 5mm hex socket here. You can use an Allen key as well. Once you have it slightly loose, It'll loosen up the original wedge here and should come out nice and easy. Now we can go ahead and store this. We won't be using any of these components for alpha of test barns. For this specific model, again, this bar end comes with two sleeves. We will only require the internal sleeve, not the slightly bigger one. We can go ahead and find our bolts and our bar end. Place the smaller sleeve inside. We'll find our cone shaped nut and thread the nut form towards the inside and begin expanding the sleeve just a tiny bit by hand. Once you have that tightened by hand, we can go ahead and insert it. Now we're gonna hold the bar end while we tighten it. As you begin to tighten, make sure the bar end sits flush against the handlebar here. We don't want there to be any gap between the bar end and the handlebar. So let me just loosen it up once more and make sure that gap is eliminated completely. Be sure to place that off of the test logo up. Hold the bar end. Tighten to recommended specs. Clean off your area and bar end installation is complete.
We have now completed the installation for the Tactic Series products on this 890 Duke. This bike was such a fun bike to work on. Products look beautiful. Premium fitment as well. If you're interested in any of these products for the 890 Duke or any other bike, make sure to check out our coverage on our website. All our products are listed there. Make sure to check out our Instagram and Facebook accounts. Follow us there to check out any new and upcoming bikes that are added to our list. Like and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one.